Hello friends and family of YouTube. And today I have an Aspen Trail by Dutchman. It's a 1900 RB. It has no slides. It's very lightweight, but yet you can still store a lot in this thing. Man, you gonna dig this. Let me show you the outside of it and then I'll show you the inside. If this is your first time to watch my channel, I do not work for the company that makes these or sells these. I'm just out here having some fun and trying to show you some campers while you're at work goofing off and getting paid for it. I won't tell the boss if you won't. Hey, uh, back here on the back, they've got a uh, camera mount back here. It's already pre-wired for a camera. And uh, also you got your spare tire on the uh, back bumper. And I'm over at Northgate RV, which is just outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. It is just right at the state line in a city called Ringgold, Georgia. So uh, you've got uh, four corner jacks to help keep it stable. You've also got your uh, black and gray tank dump right here at the same location. You've got a dual axle on here. Let's see what size tires we've got. These are 14s. And you've got your city connection here. You've also got your uh, tank fill. You've got a shower, outdoor shower set up. And the good of having this right above your sewer connection is you can take uh, this outdoor shower and clean off the hoses, clean off your hands after you've been dealing with this keep you a little bar of soap in there also so that works out pretty nice you've also got your uh right here your tv satellite hook up if you're uh at a campground and you've got uh this is a 30 amp uh, electrical service and right here is where you uh hook up the water to dump into your fresh water holding tank got a little bit of storage here let's see if this is unlocked today and it is not You've got an area for two uh, two batteries, two propane tanks, electric tongue jack on here as well. And let me show you the front of it. And as you can see, this is a aluminum exterior. You've got a solar connection also where it's a 10 amp. And that's just good enough just to kind of top off your batteries. And this one's locked as well. But anyway, this is a storage cabinet that goes all the way across here. And I tell you what, I'm in debate as to whether this is seven foot six wide or if this is eight foot wide. Hopefully I can find out on the internet and give you the proper specs on it before this video's over. All right, so uh, out here on the outside, you do have an electric awning. You've also got two speakers out here as well. Got two windows on this campsite. This is not a big camper, but what I like about this 1900 RB is inside these two steps, I'll show you what's going on inside here. And we are at the very back end of the camper. And again, there's the door that we just came into. And you can see that there's plenty of storage in here. Well, you and his and hers don't have to fight over somewhere to hang their clothes. They got plenty of space. And also down below as well, there's plenty, plenty area. And right beside that, here on the back end, is the bathroom. This is a 1900 RB, and usually the RB will stand for rear bath. If you're new to the uh, camping industry and the RV industry, kind of give you a little secret there. It's not 100% accurate, but generally that's kind of what it is. And you see you also got you a sink here, and that's big enough to put you about three or four hands in there all at once. Right above that, you've got a little bit of storage, and this is only about three inches deep, so you couldn't put a whole lot there. But you do have some 110 outlets where you can hook you some curling iron, hair dryer, and all that great stuff. And you've also got a shower here, and right above the shower, you've got some head space. You've also got you a little fan here to also pull out some of the steam and odors of the bathroom. And they got you a little octopus there on the wall where you can hang either a robe or uh, maybe a towel. And you got a toilet that is plastic. You got enough leg room here, but you do not have a lot of room to move your arms around as you're trying to trying to do other things here at the toilet so let me show you what's going on inside the uh living room area you've got a 
little dinette set up here. And you might have got a sneak peek at that price, and I'll show it to you again here in just a second. But uh, you do have storage underneath these cushions where you can store stuff inside of those areas. This top, you can take this and break it down and make like a small bed area as well. I'll go ahead and show you that price in case you are wondering. The uh, MSRP, which is right here, is $21,362. And there's the price they are asking for it. Again, I don't work here. Don't work for the company to make some more sales. I'm just here having fun. Hopefully you are too. Down in the comments below, you can tell me how much fun you're having. And uh, we've got a big window here right over this so that you can look out the window and holler at the kids, tell them to quit showing out outside. That is the campsite as we're facing that direction. And right by the bed, you've got a window on each side. There's 110 outlets on both sides. You've also got a mirror cabinet. Let me open that and show you what's going on there. So you've got, got your rod where you can hang your clothes. You've got a little storage for some shoes. You can put pillows and all kinds of crap up here and uh, put that right over the bed. I've also got some lighting so that you can read as you're laying in bed or turn that light on your partner's face while it's shining right in their face and aggravate them a little bit. Got the same storage right over on the other side as well. And you've got uh, 110 outlets on both sides. I have not seen a USB hookup for each side so that is one thing I would like to see added to it but uh, anyway over here by the kitchen you've got 110 outlet right beside the kitchen and prep area and there is not any up underneath the cabinet so basically that is all you're gonna have for your kitchen area let me show you what we've got going on here so let you get a little back look at it so you got storage underneath the sink Got you a couple of drawers here, and these are about, about four inches deep. And right here in the sink. Now, one thing I do want to point out, this is not a flush fit. This sits down, you can probably see it here, about the thickness of your finger. So, I mean, it does the job, but it would be a little nicer that if you did sit something here that it would not rock back and forth, that it would sit flush across there. And your sink faucet does move back and forth, but it does not have the wand that will move around. Let me show you what we got over the sink. You've got at least about 14, 16 inches deep in the uh, cabinets. And you've also got a, a vent fan with lighting that is right over this uh, three burner cooktop. You've also got, look there, small oven. You could cook some turkey legs or uh, frozen pizza, that kind of thing in here. And you've also got a microwave with a turntable right above the uh, refrigerator freezer combo. You've got some storage and here is your refrigerator freezer. All right, now I'll tell you what, I'm gonna show you the layout of the land, let you see what we got going on here. And again, this does not have any slides. So you've got Whatever you see, that's what you're dealing with wherever you are. You don't have to worry about, hey, if I'm at Walmart wanting to go in here and take me a quick nap, whether I've got to let the slide in or out to move around, you don't have to worry about that. So now we're moving towards the front of the camper and we are gonna be facing the back. That door right there, of course, is the door to the bathroom. And we are facing the back area. So man, there is plenty of room to do plenty of stuff in here. What I noticed is you could take this dinette out and put two chairs in here, like two, uh, two recliners. Man, that would actually be pretty nice. Maybe have some portable table that you could set up in there. Uh, man, that would work out real good. And there's a 110 outlet right under the table. Now this does lift up to where you can store some stuff underneath the bed, but they do not have the strut assist. And that's a little cumbersome to play with and try to hold the, the phone at the same time. But I did want to let you know that it is there. And I did not talk about the air conditioning, but the air conditioning is in the ceiling and so is the air conditioning duct. And the heat is just a, uh, here's your heater right here and it is furnished uh, out through here and 
there may be a duct in the bathroom. Let me check and see. A lot of times that's what they will do is put a heat duct in the bathroom and I do not see one in here. So the only heat from what I can tell is gonna come out of that unit right there. And again, this is a 1900 RB. It's a Aspen Trail by Dutchman. And uh, man, I love the fact that this thing does not have any slide outs. It's fully functional. And I forgot to mention this. You can haul, I believe it's 3,400 pounds inside this thing and it only weighs 4,300 pounds. So to me, that's probably the most impressive thing about this particular unit is how much stuff you can store in here. Now that is a lot of stuff. So uh, anyway, folks, I appreciate it. If y'all would leave me some comments down below, let me know what you thought about this particular one. Let me know if you wanna see some more of this Aspen Trail series. I'll try to get you some. Folks, I appreciate it. Y'all have a great one. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.